Okay, I put, put, put on my, my goon cap, because, well, it's the middle of the night. I wake up in the middle of the night all the time. I go right back to sleep, but I always wake up. Did I tell you when I was in, um, uh, where was I? I was in Livingston, Guatemala one time. I right across from the river. Anyway, I was helping a cat. Uh, they had these, uh, the Garifuna people, Griffin people, how you call it. They, they make these drums, you know, and they had this fishing wire anyway, but they take the actual log and they dig out. You know, they dig out this thing, right? So I'm up here with this guy named Jesus, right? And he's digging the drums because he's, he, that's what he do, you know? And so I'm next to him, and I'm trying to, he's like a little chisel thing. So I'm up there trying to dig, chisel out this drum, and man, you know, go, I wasn't getting no place. He just sort of stops at some particular point, and he says, you know, brother, sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night, I do push-ups, I go back to sleep. I didn't think nothing of it. I'm telling you, literally years later, I realized what he's saying. He said, you weak. <laughs> you need to do your push-ups. <laughs> Which is appropriate for this film. Uh, and we're going to talk about, uh, and not talk about, because I don't want to spoil it. Well, it's no spoiler. It's a documentary. Tariq Nasheed did a documentary called Hidden Colors 5. It was the fifth of the series, right? In case you all didn't know, like you didn't know. And you know, this one is about the, the war. You know, it was the state of war. The state of war that we're in, however you want to put it. That's what he says. And, you know, well, hey, that's what it is. In fact, I'm wearing my Ogun cap, you know. Ogun's colors, at least in the, in the North American strain of the Yoruba, Yoruba culture, you know, it goes through Cuba and comes to North America, the colors are red, black, and green. Actually, it's black, it's, I guess it's said black, and red, and a, a black, uh, green, and a bit of red. That's why the thing right there. So you think it's a whatever happened. No, this is my Ogun cap. I went, oh. When I do wake up in the middle of the night, what I do do, I drink water. So I don't care what Jesus her, her said, or Jesus, if you will. You know, water. I always have my water all night long. I drink. Drinking something. So anyway, it was a great film. Let me tell you what happened. I bought these ticks online early this week, whatever it is. And, uh, and uh, so, you know, I had a couple of friends, you know, we went, 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 went to the theater. And uh, so I said, oh, look, we got to get there at 6.30 because I might want to, you know, record some people or something like that. We get there about 6.30. They come, say, oh, what's up, what was that? It's a long line. I mean, a, lo lo a long line. I'm going to say, whoa, hey, these ain't regular Negroes. This must be the conscious community because they on time. You know, ends up something happened. I don't know what they, I don't, but I, we took a long time to get in. Somebody messed up. I don't know who messed up, but it wasn't really messed up because everybody was patient. It was nice. We got in there sit down and of course you know I was I was taught by the great poor wonder where to sit in the movie theater you know depending on speak whatever have you so actually hey my seats was right there like that right there right where I needed to be right and um and so you know when the movie starts hey I like let me tell you I love the pacing of this film the pacing is really good with things are I mean like the, the, if you, the comic relief is all through the film he had Jesse Lee Peterson in the film oh comic relief he's so good and, and every once in a while you, in fact say to the end and go through a little credit because Jesse Lee's at the end he starts cracking on um, well I, mean, I won't say you almost spoil that part but also uh, Shahrazad Ali, she's well, she's been in a lot of his films. You know, she's hilarious too, and a little bit. And James, my man, James Small, Professor Professor Small, he's great. But all these comic releases, really, 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 really it's, the pacing is just wonderful. Some of the, the facts, some things I didn't, I didn't know. I'm not gonna again. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. But here's one. I got these buttons. This is. I don't see this film. I mean, this film. I don't see this picture enough. But they featured that. They had this picture in the film. See this picture of Honorable Elijah Muhammad and Martin Luther King together? See that? That was there. I said, oh, that's, that's interesting. So he's got some images that you've never seen before, you know, so you should check it out just for that. So, uh, so I mean, I'm just saying it's a really good, well-paced film, uh, watchable. It's in seven parts. Seven is a, it's a, it's a spiritual number. So it's, there's a lot of, there's, for me, there's a lot of little gems. He, I, 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 let me put it this way. Um, uh, I let you see it for yourself. Please see it. Um, and I guess when the, the DVD comes out, I guess it's out. I don't know. Whenever it comes out, it's a must. Whatever have you. But I know the um, the uh, what do you call it? the the bootleg is going to have a field day on this. You know, they're going to have a field day. But you know, it's just, it's just, that, you know, that's the way it goes. But I'd rather the knowledge get out there. I know, pay the brother. You know, 
and even those bootleggers, just tell them, hey, or just don't, just get by. I'm sure there's going to be some stuff in the in the um, in the regular DVD when it comes out that you can't get on the bootleg. So, so do that. Buy both. I mean, support both. Because one of the things that's brought out is like the underground economy. If you want to, the economy. You know, we've always been so called underground economy. You know, and this is actually really important. So, you know, hey, man, okay, I got. I'm sort of retired. I'm of that boomer generation. But I, don't, I live low to the ground anyway. But I would rather take um, buy both a bootleg. I'm not encouraging this, but buy the buy the series. That's really good. But here's the thing. Um, at the end, Tariq shows up eh, in the movie theater. So what the heck's going on? Well, it seems, and this is why this movie is going to sell. This is going to be like jump to the top of the charts. Well, it seems like you know after his LA premiere, I guess he was going to the UK. Well, he didn't quite make it. Somebody called and say, hey, some 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 government, I guess U.S. government, I don't know, some government person called, and he couldn't leave. The, well, they wasn't going to let him in the U.K. Okay. He actually said he was showed that he was. I, I'll put a link because I got a little bit of footage of what what, what happened uh, to part you. you know, get the link, you'll see. But here's the thing, uh, Kaba, you know, who's in the film, you know, used to be Booker T. Coleman, you know, in all the other films. You know, he had a copy to go to the U.K. He's going to the U.K., right? He gets to the U.K. and guess what? I'll give you a time. I'll give you a hint. You know, when Malcolm X traveling in Africa and blah, 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 he wouldn't, blah, 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 blah. Ooh, you see what I'm saying? You got the hint yet? That's right. They, 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 some, some, some government called the other government, and then they told the movie theater was supposed to play, or the theater, the venue was supposed to be playing at, and they said, no, we ain't showing this thing. No, contracts be done. <laughs> you don't have to, hey, you know, if you got the power, you know, you change laws or you, you find some way to, you know, I guess there's some law on the, on the UK books, you know, because everybody's subject to the queen, and I guess the government's subject to the queen. If they say you, mm -mm -mm, it ain't happening. So it didn't show in the UK, as far as I know. And, you know, Tariq, he says he can't, well, I, well, he can't go to the U.K. He's banned from the U.K. From this film. Boy, they don't like facts. I can't believe they don't like facts. But see, uh, you know, horses, look, what, what, um, uh, uh, anyway, you understand what I'm saying. My, my thing is they change laws all the time to suit their purposes, you know, and that's just the way it is. But I want you all to see it. Please go see it. You know, every, every way you can, on different, several different, different ways. You see it, okay? This is a little message from me, T. From the Patterson's taking the train to bed, letting you know what I only suspect from A. D. S. From the A. D. O. S. Go see it. Go see the movie. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great.